Good morning, it's Sergio Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 13th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, now let's look at the actual stats first. Asian markets overnight certainly bouncing back, uh, except the, uh, the Nikkei. Uh, Shanghai up 0.44, Hang Seng up as well. The Nikkei uh, actually uh, more or less flat but negative, uh, certainly not uh, carrying on with the potential reversal in US equities. The Nasdaq certainly bounced up sharply off the uh, pivot low, uh, whilst the uh, uh, S&P certainly has pushed to new highs again. I mean, if we bring up the S&P 500, uh, the weekly chart certainly remains strong. Uh, 10 minute chart certainly pushing. I mean, we've broken up 25, uh, 24, 33 now. So, an impressive thrust on the SP 500, nevertheless. Okay, now in terms of uh, European markets at present, let's see what the stats are here. Just give you a recap. FTSE up nine points, even though we have concerns or ongoing concerns with regards to political chaos. We've just had the inflation number in as well, certainly hotter than expected, and therefore causes a real problem, a headache now for the uh, BOE. Uh, we see uh, argument there now with regard, even with uh, oil prices declining as well, one of them would have thought that uh, inflation obviously would have tamed a bit, but it hasn't, unfortunately. And it certainly seems like the uh, BOE is on course now to potentially raise rates and certainly uh, slant towards a hawkish nature, which in turn is definite, definitely uh, negative for equities. Okay. Uh, also, with regards to a hard Brexit, uh, one would argue that uh, sterling would obviously fall with a soft Brexit, sterling starts to rise. Okay, so some sort of mutual agreement certainly has already been linked with regards to the Tories and the uh, Labour Party having secret talks in the Daily Telegraph. So again, certainly take that on board. The German DAX certainly higher today on the back of obviously the bounce in the Nasdaq. The French CAC higher as well with regards to uh, employment numbers coming in stronger than expected. Eurozone and uh, German ZEW numbers both coming strong, stronger than expected. Although we have had Mr. Schauble potentially talking up. Uh, the euro and also the Bundesbank indicating a potential rate hike going forward or potential tapering as well. So let's just take that on board. Let's t uh, certainly take that into consideration too. Okay, so that's where we stand. Uh, in terms of economic data, other than that, have I really missed anything? No. I think the highlight this morning has been the stronger inflation reading from the UK. Obviously, German and uh, EU ZEW numbers coming in stronger than expected. We've had uh, US business optimism coming in stronger. And we're looking forward to inflation data from the US. Red book, really not much of a market mover. Uh, PPI will be interesting. Okay, we've got API uh, crude data at uh, half past nine. So again, watch out for that. That certainly will be a market mover, given the fact that oil now equals inflation. In terms of the uh, index, let's just bring up the German DAX for you folks. Okay, daily chart at the moment still holding that double top at 12.840. Therefore, uh, provided we hold that, bias remains bearish. 60-minute chart on the German DAX. We're still oscillating between this key support here at 12.660 and resistance at gap fill at 12.820. 10-minute chart at the moment certainly languishing to a large extent, certainly capping, uh, certainly being capped at this uh, 12.770 zone. Okay, 12.760 zone. We have an unfilled gap below, so let's keep an eye out for that. Okay, and we still have an unfilled gap above as well at 12.815. So again, keep an eye out for that in terms of the next move there. Moving on to the French CAC. Okay, daily chart of the French CAC. As always, we start off with the larger time frames. Uh, certainly just consolidating. We are holding that key support, though. And mind, bear in mind, stronger employment data today as well. Certainly helping the French economy. 60-minute chart on the French CAC. We certainly are holding double bottom support at that uh, 5240 zone. We have multiple unfilled gaps above. 10-minute chart. You clearly see the unfilled gap here. Let me destroy it in for you folks. You've got 5,300 gap fill, so let's watch out and see exactly how the market responds there. You have an unfilled gap below as well, given the fact that Asian markets are high and uh, US equity is certainly bouncing. You said one would have argued you, you are looking for that potential gap above to close, especially with stronger employment numbers from the French economy today. Also, with regards to Macron as well, certainly uh, overwhelming majority in terms of his win. But the French elections are no longer on the radar. Okay, so FTSE 100, again, like I said, the stronger inflation numbers will keep the FTSE capped. Okay, certainly any rally on the FTSE certainly will be subdued and subjugated. You have the unfilled gap at 7.512, support at 7.507, support seen at 7.495, and then support seen at 7.480, and then ultimately gap fill at 7.450. So from my perspective in terms of trading, given the stronger inflation reading, any, to any pop on the FTSE is a short. 
definitely a shorting opportunity from my perspective and I'll certainly be looking to take advantage of that. I have took advantage today on numerous occasions and certainly looking to continue with that uh, uh, with that uh, advantage as well. Now you, will, you do have this key diagonal trend line in the FTSE so keep an eye on that. Okay, looking for that eventually to break and then obviously looking for a crackdown in 7495 and 7480. So let's see how US equities react and respond for now. In terms of the uh, Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just bring this up for you. Euro stocks certainly holding support at uh, 3540. For now, it looks like it's consolidating with stronger EU ZEW. From my perspective, looking consolidation, looking to move higher up to 3585 and potentially higher up to 3615. Up to three six one five. So there are two zones that I'll certainly be looking at in terms of the euro stocks. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really in terms of the markets. Certainly some relief from the tech sector sell-off and some stabilisation with stronger EU data. Although the FTSE certainly remains under extreme pressure and therefore look for a potential thrust down on the FTSE 100. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and trade signal for the market updates and leading providers or signals of market update signals of market updates from leading providers goodbye now